Yo, what is going on guys? Josh around here for another video. But today, what I wanted to talk about and show you guys was my home calisthenics gym that I have set up and kind of how I use everything and what I use everything for. So, first of all, I got the pull-up bar over here. So, pull-up bar, pretty simple. But, when I use the pull-up bar, I like to always have some chalk with me. This helps <coughs> your hands from getting torn up and stuff and just helps get a better grip and keep you from slipping. So, if you got a metal bar, definitely recommend putting some chalk on your hands before you use it. Also, resistance bands. These are so, so huge. I'm gonna make a full video on how I use res resistance bands and how much they've helped me, but keep it simple. Front lever training, planche stuff. I use resistance bands for so, so many things. Super huge, I'll make another video on that. But we got parallettes over here. These, I do a number of things on, as you guys will see in the video today. So parallettes, I made these myself out of some galvanized pipe. I'll make a video on how to make these also. And then we got the classic dip bar over here. So two really basic fundamental things. You got your pushing strength and you got your pulling strength. Pulling strength. So <clears throat> two fundamentals for calisthenics that I really try and focus a lot of attention on. For me personally, my pushing strength is definitely a lot stronger because I've been training for the planche for a very long time and my pushing strength tends to be a little bit stronger than my pulling strength. Trying to work on both at the same time, but it is a little difficult. So that's my little setup that I have right now. So let's get into the, in today's video and let's get this workout going. Quick little warm up, but one thing I absolutely recommend before you do any like serious attempt, like let's say you're uh, training for the planche, always do a lower progression first just to warm up your muscles and your whole body before you go into the full thing because it's such an easy way to get hurt. So always do the easier progression, just like I just did the planche lean. So planche lean before I even go into the planche. I know it's exciting, you want to train all that hard stuff, but do the progression first just to warm up at least. So, so huge, because you're using the same exact muscles as you would in the full exercise. So, always warm up those muscles. Super important. Let's keep going.
All right, one more quick thing. In that floor planche attempt, um, I felt my calf muscle get really tight and I'm guilty of it. I did not stretch it enough. So even though you're using mostly your upper body, whenever I do the planche or any <laughs> calisthenics exercise, I use my whole body. So I'm e even tightening up my legs. So super important. I felt that, so I called it early. So make sure you always stretch every part of your body. Super important. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I'm gonna step outside real quick. My roommates were making a little bit of noise, but anyways, <laughs> that was my little home gym setup that I got going on. Parallettes, pull-up bar, dip bars, the basics. Also, don't be afraid to put on a resistance band. It helps so much when you're learning <laughs> new skills. It just helps with the mental aspect as well as the physical because you're able to do a harder progression, but with assistance. So you're using the same muscles, but I feel like with me personally, it helps with the mental aspect that you're able to do the harder progression, but just with a little bit of help. Instead of getting frustrated doing so many attempts that are really not doing you very much good, opposed to working the progression. So thank you for watching the video again, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.